What's up guys? Coming to you with another video. I'm out here in New Rochelle today in a new area for me. I came to meet my uncle to, to do some fishing with him. He's on his way here now. But while I wait for him, I'm gonna get started. Like, I don't even know. All I know right now is that the tide's coming in. I see some snappers busting on sparing. But other than that, I don't know what's here, <laughs> what they're catching here, nothing. But I, I got some blood worms. It's a good all around bait. And then I got some gulp that I'm gonna jig around for some uh, flute. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can get today. Hopefully, we get some fish. Especially with it being a new area for me. Let's try this out. Got some glowworms. Let's get in the water. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with the high low rig with some blood worms. See if anything hits this. Look, sparing jumping right in front of me. Snappers is on them. Let's see how deep it is. Uh, not too bad. Oh, shoot. Something little hit it as soon as it hit the bottom. Look at this. Uh, there's something down there. <laughs> Not big, though. Uh, uh, don't tell me you got a whole bunch of little bait snatchers down there. Hopefully something big comes along. Uh, I set up my other rod. Some goat. Something's definitely tearing the worms up. They're just not big. Whatever it is. If it's too small to get these hooks in his mouth, this is gonna be really annoying. Wow, tore the bait up. This is not good. This is not good. Blowworms is too expensive for this. All right, so I got a half ounce jig head with a five inch curly tail gulp on there. See if there's any fluke here. My uncle just got here. He's making his way over now. I think the, the little fish took all the blowworm. <laughs> it stopped bouncing. Nothing big came and hit it. I don't even know if there's fluke here. And hopefully the snappers don't rip the tail off. After this cast, I'll change the bait on that rod. Don't feel much structure on the bottom. I see most people are fishing down over there, outside of the inlet. But I don't see nobody bringing anything up. Let me change this blow worms. Look at these little fish are tearing the ride up. <laughs> See what's out there stealing the bait. That's pulling a little hard. It might be a little porgy. Let's fight you. Yep. Baby porgy. The little ones here, the big ones gotta be here. Yeah. <laughs> Too small. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah too small. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Baby porgies down there still in the bait. Gotta be some big ones here. The tide's just coming in, so big ones might be on the way. Hey, tan that worm. Oh, 
That one went with it. That one went with it. Yeah. Still don't feel that big. Pumping a little bit. Oh, okay, hold on. Definitely a porgy. Definitely a porgy. Okay. Okay. That's a keeper. <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> That's way more than nine inches. They they here. <laughs> they are here. All right, so found a keeper. That's going home. <laughs> Get some water in the bucket. I didn't bring no ice with me. Didn't know what to expect over here. But, got one in the bucket. Let's see if we can get on some more. Hopefully in Bowage, that side show up. These little bait stealers get out of here. Let's get it. That's a better one. I was waiting for that. And we got off. While the line got wrapped around the rod, I couldn't get to it. I couldn't hook him. That was another keeper. You gotta sit there and just let the little ones nip at it. Eventually the bigger one will come and try to take it from him. He didn't even get the bait. I could have left it there. That's what I mean by the big ones. You see how it folds over and don't come back up? You, you'll know the difference. That's how I like about the porgies. They fight so hard. Damn, my other line wrapped around the reel. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't pull on it. Or reel. That was a good one. I think that might have been bigger than that one. He had the rod folded over. Dang. I like a better bite. What the heck? What is this? I just don't feel like no porgy. I feel like dead weight. What is this? Sea robin? <laughs> Surprised I didn't get one on the goat. It wasn't pumping, that's how I knew it wasn't a no porgy. You didn't hit hard, you got one. Everything coming in with the tide, huh? You got him? These guys are here. I didn't give them while I was jigging for fluke. I definitely knew it wasn't no pork. Little Steve Robin. I feel like taking those sea robins home today. Damn, that was a great bite. That one picked up the sinker. What the heck was that? What was that, another sea robin? Got him. Oh, that's a foggy. What 
the he just stopped fighting. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Keeper. It's another one for the bucket. Okay. They came. Yeah, they came over already. Yeah, porgies. <laughs> the show? <laughs> Thank you. It's another one. The camera just died on me when I brought that porgy in, but that's. That's three in the bucket. I'm gonna send them home to my grandparents. I'm gonna get some fresh porgies. I'm gonna keep changing the water to keep them alive because I ain't got no ice. Keep them fresh. It's not that hot out here. A little cloudy. A little breeze. It's actually beautiful fishing weather. And we out here. Got yeah, a lot of the blow worms. Time to go to some clam bellies. See if these porgies will hit this. Missed a couple of good porgies, man. Had some nice bites. Just wasn't able to get to the rods fast enough. Might start chicken for fluke again now that the tide is in. And they hit the clam. I mess around with the snappers for a little bit. Good size snapper. Lloyd. A little snapper. I only eat them this size, really. <laughs> the big, big ones I give away. I uh, gut them, fry them whole. And that's the same with porgies. You normally porgies should fry them whole. Yeah. Sometimes, like if I felt lazy, I don't feel like scaling it. I just fillet them. They just keep picking it up and dropping it. Ah, oh, I lost him. Oh, got him. Got him. Decent size eating snappers. Hey, right here. Right here in front of me. Oh, he swallowed the hook, man. Fighting my leader line. <laughs> One more, and that's my limit. <laughs> that one? Nice. <laughs> that's a good one, too. There you go. I knew when you start doing this, that that'll definitely get one. <laughs> That's the size I'm looking for. I keep catching these little ones now. Got another one. <laughs> Tanny spearing up. So they tear in the spirit. Oh! Yo! 
Got him. That's a pogey. Wow, I thought the pogey bite was done. So I started fishing for the snappers. Yep. You gotta put a bigger hook on. Wow, that pokey hit hard. Top hook, that's why. Nice. On the clam. Really thought it was over for the porgies. Holy cow. Come back. Yeah. That was a big one. And it goes down, stay down like that. Oh, came back. It came back. Okay. They still here. They just hitting the clams a lot slower. Oh, this one's pumping. Let's go. That one's pumping hard. They got a snapper just busting. Snappers is just busting the spear. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good day. You guys gonna have some good fish to eat. <laughs> Unk is on again. Oh, what is that? Is that a blue fish or a fluke? <laughs> Oh, Porgy, <laughs> right here at the shore. <laughs> Yo, you gotta tell you a track. Wow, right here at the shore. We keep going all the way out there and they sitting right here. That's a keeper too. Hey. I'm sitting here like, yeah, that thing is fighting a little harder than a bluefish. <laughs> nice. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Came out here today with my uncle. Got around these porgies, put some snappers, put a sea robin. Actually turned out to be a pretty good day. It wasn't, didn't know what to expect. It was the first time we came here. But yeah, we did pretty good. Got a bunch of porgies in here. Got some, give me some snappers. Went through all them worms with all them bait snatchers though. The little tiny porgies, the little sea robins, eating all the bait. That's always annoying. Like, blood worms cost way too much for all of that. Just gonna do it for this video. Nice little area. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.